Welcome to the Open Alpha Weekend of Satisfactory. So let's compare to Factorio. Well, the first thing is the name. And if you ask me, I like it more than Factorio because it's more inspired. But in the end, the name doesn't matter much. The first you, the thing you can see graphic wise, it's quite pretty. But that also has a downside because it needs a better CPU and GPU. So if you have better PC, it won't be a problem for you. But if you have an old PC, it can be uh, can be a bit of a hassle. Here you can see my coal mining outpost with two miners, then some belt action the power plant and the truck depot. We built the, those big buildings in Satisfactory, which is quite easy. You just plant them down somewhere, you have to be on a mine, which uh, there aren't any more here. And it nearly gets built instantly. You can just deconstruct and it put all the items in your inventory if you have space. And nothing lies on the ground like in Factorio. Building belts is super easy too. Just connect the start and the end and it's done. This is a splitter. They aren't as good as the reworked ones of, set, uh, of Factorio because they just split evenly across those output lanes. Since this is back up, everything goes to this one. This only feeds the coal power plant. This is another splitter. It splits off another coal line into the input for the fuel for the truck depot. And this is the input for the truck depot. We get one belt here, well one nearly full belt and a full belt from this coal deposit. And this is a double speed belt which fills the truck depot. Resources are you know, those patches, they come in I think two qualities maybe or no I think three in normal, in impure and in or something. If they are impure, you only get half the amount mined. If they are pure, uh, if they are normal, you get 60, I think. I don't know if you get double or 50% plus, and you have a, a rich vein or something. This is the truck depot, it's like the train station. And this is the truck. The crafting is different in Satisfactory, you d can't craft uh, on your own, like nothing, it's a bit more realistic, but realism most of the time uh, isn't that practical and makes you beat as you game more grindy, because you always have to go to your crafting bench and craft the stuff you want, if you haven't it uh, automated it perfectly. But with the, uh, those trucks, you also get a workbench, so you can craft most of the stuff in the wild, which is pretty helpful, because if you couldn't do that, you had to craft it in advance, and you always had to know exactly what you need out there. And I didn't know that there were two deposits, so I hadn't the materials at first to build the second miner which can be quite off as well. You can see here the um, dots, uh, the arrows, they mark a track for the tractor to drive, which also does work. Oh. You can start it uh, autopilot here and when you uh, get out, the autopilot only works if you're not inside and start driving, which works quite well. Didn't expect that in the alpha, but as you can see, it's working alright.
Yes, see, FPS are perfect for me, but I haven't perfect GPU either, so and it's running on ultra. Yes, graphics-wise, it's better than Factorio, but also it's way heavier on the CPU and especially on the GPU. Well, it's also heavy for me on the CPU. As you have seen in the well, don't fail me now. Interesting. Now I'm recording. <laughs> Can't get up here. Well, please. Steep slope slows him down. Oh yes, another point is enemies in this factory. They are a double-edged sword. If you are in your base or on your uh, vehicles, they can't do much. They are super docile, they don't attack you like the Factorio. But if you are venturing in the, also in the wilds on foot, they can be quite a challenge, especially the only weapon or the best range, uh, the only range weapon I got is this bolt gun. And you only have one shot until you have to reload, so it's even worse than a pistol. There are another deposit, because uh, I docile, they won't attack you. If you shoot them, they don't die either, or they take an insane amount of shots. Yes, the enemies can be quite hard, but the, you have to venture out uh, for that in order to find them. If you're just building in your base, they won't come, and if you don't. You have seen uh, in the outpost base. Oh. We should have some. Yes, it got loaded up with coal, which we'll uh, bring to the coal plant in my base, which is this. My base, this produces the. Oh no, and now it drives back. Damn it. Yes, the management of the trains is way be better than in Factorio. It drives, it gets unloaded and loaded, but I don't know where the truck is now, if it's working, how full it is. And the problem is, you can't specify the uh, holding conditions here. So in Factorio you can say wait till full, wait till empty, it's super easy to configure and the trains drive with a minimal amount needed. If it's not full, it's not worthwhile to drive, so it stays in the station until it's full. And same goes if it's still uh, not unloaded, it waits to be fully unloaded, or you can customize it to your liking, the signals and such. Here it just drives here, it gets unloaded or loaded what the uh, what the depot has, and that's it. So it's like the early days of factory. Yes, this is one of my setups. The uh, small uh, power plants here, the biomass burners, and the pole system don't encourage you to build one giant power network, so you build the miner on the good ore. This is the good ore, so you get one for that get split because the smelters only can take half a belt and the ingots feed into the uh, those crafting machines and the uh, recipe which they have just takes 15 per minute so you can fill up four of those they will craft iron rods and then I merge them back together with those conveyor mergers and then it goes into the storage unit yes you have no inserters building barrels is way easier because you specify end point a uh, start point end point and it's just that and you have no inserters but the downside is you have to make all those awkward connections and it gets even more spaghetti than in the uh, nice grid map of Factorio.
and it also can be a fun to de design it like this. Since this is an easier setup, fine limestone, this is impure, so you get only city. It gets constructed to cement, which nearly fills up a belt, and just thought. This is a, on this power grid. You have to build it all manually. You have to place the power pole, and then you have to make the manual connections. And each power pole only can have have four connections, so yeah, it's not that much because you need this connects to the mm, power plant and to the next pole. So you already have two connections, so you can only have to uh, machinery connected to it and then that's it you need to place an another hole and connect it is it connected oh yes it is yes this is my testing of the cold power plan <coughs> but I have to increase it so another thing is the Manual versus automatic crafting. The problem is the manual crafting is way way faster because with this machinery you get 60 items in, produces uh, just 30 out, and the crafting time is four seconds, which is quite much. But if you craft it manually in your station, the crafting times are super fast one hammer time is just like that. So crafting manually is way way faster than the automatic so it doesn't encourage you a lot because if you want to produce especially uh, production heavy goods like the wires here which you pr produce uh, three every craft they just uh, have 15 input per minute, but they put f uh, f 45 out, which is nearly belt. So you need another belt together, and you already need a second, uh, the second level of belt. And here you would even need a higher belt, but I can't research that if it exists, but it should exist because yes, your setups would be quite. Hampered. And since I only can have a belt to here, I can't build the uh, fourth one because the belt will be full anyways. It's already full. This is another interesting thing. All those four are connected to this power plant here. They only have uh, 20 megawatts of capacity and one of those takes four so you can supply only five of that and you need another. There comes the main grid to the smelters and to the mining facility. You, I think you want to compartmentalize your uh, power consumption in the early days because if you're going over your power consumption you don't uh, produce at a lower rate but uh, the fl fuse will blow out and every uh, thing shuts down and if you only have parts of your network affecting that it's like in your house if only one room goes dark it's not that big of a deal than if your whole building or your whole flat goes dark also, if the power runs out of one of those, only this part of the factory will be affected and not the uh, whole factory. Because if one uh, runs out, you have less power output, and then you have may have not enough power con uh, production and you blow the fuse for your whole factory again. You have to craft uh, at your this is the standard working bench. This is the bigger one for equipment. You 
fighting is quite hard in, fix, uh, in Satisfactory because I haven't found how you can keybind your tools. This is only for cutting down trees. You can't attack your enemies with that. Also, it uses fuel. This is the first pistol like thingy you get. But yeah, it only shows one. And you have to reload it and your enemies have uh, armor, so you have to hit them at the right spot. Mm, the first weapon you get is an electric baton, so you have to melee your enemies at first. The gun is kinda late in the game, at least here for the alpha weekend. I only can go to tier 3 and there you get the gun at the second belt, logistics and the power plant. So it really just starts off here. This is just upgrading and getting the standard components to craft your uh, to craft your factory. But another problem is it's so huge and you have to build so much. And you have to plan ahead quite a bit, and it's also uh, yes, you don't have the easy you can uh, walk onto most of your constructions which is quite nice you can also build uh, walkways onto them does it stick here? Yeah. I don't know how it sticks but you should be able to do it also like here which is a cool feature to be able to build in 3D not in 2D like in Factorio but it also makes it way more complicated Yes, building is super easy. Just place it and it gets constructed if you have the material. And if you want to deconstruct it, deconstruct it and it's fine. I think you not don't get the full uh, amount of materials back. So I'm not quite sure yet. This is the uh, plate production. But the problem is the next step is fixing it together with the uh, with the rod production to produce the um, the uh, hardened or something plates because you need the rods and the plates and you need to make bolts and stuff. So this will be quite uh, fun <laughs> to connect those belts up or something. Yes, that's how you gather your wood. At least the small pieces, the bigger pieces, you know, you have to get your chainsaw out to cut down the, the trees and stuff. Then you have research in this game too, it's a bit different, you have to gather the resources then you have to specify your project, then you un try to unlock it, then you have to produce all those goods or if you already have it, you fill it just out and send it in here a button appears and you can send it uh, into space like you know it from Factorio. Then the uh, tier will be unlocked, but you will have a cooldown because this thing will fly off and come back after some time. Or you can't just all uh, research it just after one another. Here you can uh, scan this and type research of the has strong healing properties. R and D has created a blueprint. The stuff you find in the up. world, which also unlocks some stuff and then you have the big space elevator which unlocks the uh, tiers because it's also uh, tiered in this game not in Factorio you have prerequisites uh, but you have to unlock the tiers but since you only can go to tier uh, 3 I haven't unlocked the higher tiers yet because why should I produce all those how to produce goods and then for nothing. So 
So yes, it's from that what you can play. I'm kinda at the end. Not much is missing. I could build uh, the better power production with coal and connect everything to the big coal network. And it would be a project. I could build here a couple of more plants, connect them all in one big power grid and have the uh, whole factory run with it. The next project would be the plates, the improved plates. Getting this output together from the other one, from the rods I produce on the exact opposite <laughs> of my banks, which is there. Well, which is this one. Which will be quite the hassle, or I have to redesign it, or have to build another production there because there are other uh, deposits. That's the curious thing. You can cut down trees and they won't regrow. I think those flowers regrow, but you only get leaves, so it's quite, it's not that efficient. The it's way more efficient to cut down trees and get woods and convert it to biomass and convert the leaves. But this would be another project and build some cons uh, things like the, uh, the motors and rotors and stuff. But the problem is you don't need that much for the higher tiers. It's just 25 of those and you can construct them way faster. You can see it's so fast and putting uh, six... Uh, screws on the belt is quite much for the belt to handle so that's the interesting thing here the belts are easily filled and now I want to produce a plate and it's so fast and just remember this would have 4 seconds production time in the constructor, uh, uh, in the constructor. And if you build it manually it's super fast Oh, another thing we have to talk about is you can get the uh, factorio from the side and also for GUG so you don't need steam or any other launcher crap you have to run in the background and hog your resources and spy on you. Here you have to have the epic uh, game launcher or what's it called. So This one has to run all the time the background so I hope they release some GOG version or their own standalone which would be quite nice maybe they just did it for the uh, alpha week and so they can re revoke the playing permit easily when the weekend ends I don't know now this is your personal chest I don't know generally you can just use those containers you may say, uh, say yeah but the is chest is smaller yes but that's not a good thing because try finding the chest in the dense fauna or flora it's flora right and the flora uh, you can either way more easily spot those ones also you can hook them up to the boat network yes do we have something uh, else to talk about. I think we covered mostly anything. So yeah. Mm. Summary, the graphics are good but the re uh, power consumption of your rig also gets very high because it's very CPU and GPU intensive. Maybe they will optimize it more because if I turn down the uh, settings from ultra to low it uh, doesn't do much for uh, performance wise the graphics gets a bit uh, crappier but the uh, GPU load and CPU load is still quite high so I don't know maybe it's just a new game and it always needs good graphics and a lot of uh, GPU but maybe they can uh, improve it a bit more. The ratios on the belt are very inconvenient. 
Well, the, the starting ones are convenient, but the higher ones get very inconvenient. S luckily, Factorio fixed that. Most of the ratios are very easily and easily dividable in Factorio. You don't have any inserters, that's the belt. Which, well, it makes building easier, but it also removes moves the spaghetti fun of Factorio. So, I don't know. The power came quite late in this alpha, but it's kind of similar to a factorial. Just put it in and it gets burned when it's needed, and if not, it doesn't get. And if it's not, uh, but the first thing is you have to fill the all the uh, bio burners, which is kind of labor intensive you always have to get the fuel back in from the start and I still haven't uh, built the whole coal network so it's kind of late in the game at least for now yes the another problem is the manual crafting which is way way better but I think they did it because if you have to stand at the bench it has to be better because you don't want to stand for hours there but the problem is if you want to produce those I produced uh, those wires at first just put my inventory full of copper, uh, uh, copper ingots go to the crafting bench produce wires put something on your mouse and it just crafted away because it's so so much faster and you don't have the belt slowing you down and the slow constructors but well, the other problem is if you would craft s so fast with those, you would have way too many resources. So yeah, uh, it could be hard uh, to fix. And the buildings are quite cool. They look cool. They look realistic. They also have those poles to indicate if they are working properly or not. It has fuel, so it's green. This uh, has fuel. But uh, I think, yeah, it's backed up so it has a yellow light. And if it doesn't have power or something's wrong, it will be red. So it's kind of realistic and helps you to see uh, what's going on in your factory. Yes, and you can also mount them, which is quite cool. And if you build all the. This, you can have quite a nice and walkable uh, factory. If the buildings are, uh, the um, belts just work, they are way slower than the ones from fact, uh, Factorio. This just can do a uh, 60, which uh, Factorio would uh, 900 now. They did uh, 800, now they do 900 in Factorio. So it's just uh, a factor of 50 but also uh, collecting all those wood and, and those uh, plant parts and they did help me quite a lot and they, as you can see this is all biomass I already stacked and I didn't take uh, trips to farm the wood I just ventured to see what's out there and if there's a tree or something in the way I would cut it down and I already have so much biomass and biofuel stored which uh, should last me quite a long time and sadly you could only see the uh, uh, first three tiers so for the uh, coming uh, weekends there will be quite a lot of stuff so because it's uh, it's a moment it's now it's a bit lackluster but here yeah, there should be lots to come but factory at the moment is cheaper it only costs I think 20 bucks while this is 30 bucks and I already bought factorio and it just got uh, added a lot more cool content with the patch of 0.17 and it's also more fleshed out and everything so it's a 
kind of a hard sell at the moment to uh, switch over to uh, satisfactory. Sadly a friend of mine wanted to play with me but he got into the early alpha and somehow early alpha players can't play with the alpha weekend players so I haven't time to test the multiplayer but in general it should have a multiplayer like in a Factorio, I think they limit it or they advise you to limit it to up to four players. So you can uh, build your factory with your friends. Yeah. So I hope this uh, helped you get your uh, impression of the game. And if you want to play it or want to test it, if there's a another alpha weekend or something. So if you want to help me, subscribe and share and until next time.